Hello everyone, and welcome to my fish room. Today I thought I would share with you my breeding program for some of the most coveted of the live bearing critically endangered goodyids from Mexico, the Crocodons. Over the next few minutes, I will discuss species profiles, general nutrition and husbandry, along with special breeding practices for these critically endangered fish. And up first is one of my favorite Crocodons. This is Crocodon Audax El Tabaso from the Durango, Mexico, above the El Saltito waterfall on the Tabal River. This fish is commonly known as the Black Prince. The Audax species of the Crocodons come from a small group of microendemic areas above the El Saltito waterfall in Durango, Mexico. Each of these microendemic groups are identified with their own separate ESU. ESU stands for Evolutionary Significant Unit. Each of these microendemic locations with their ESUs express their own separate morphology, which is manifested with different markings and colorations. What this basically means is that each of these small microendemic locations that have isolated over time eventually evolved with different markings and colorations to better survive their environments. Crocodon Audax Los Pinos, Reno Canatlan, Durango, Mexico. This species also lives above the El Saltito waterfall in Durango, Mexico. Unfortunately, the numbers of these fish in the wild have greatly diminished over the last few years due to pollution, drought, and invasive species. This fish is recognized by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature as critically endangered. Recently, the Goodyear Working Group has initiated a special breeding program to rebuild the numbers of these fish in captivity. It is the hopes that in the future, these fish may be reintroduced back into the wild. Crocodon lateralis Los Perros, Durango, Mexico, is another species of Crocodon that dwells beneath the El Saltito waterfall in the Tobal River. Just as Audax, these fish have been listed as critically endangered with the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. So now that I've introduced you to a few of the locations and species I work with here in my fish room, let's discuss husbandry. First off, let's discuss the water parameters. Crocodons, like most goodyids, are cold water fish and tend to fare better in water temperatures between 70 and 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Water parameters should be a pH of 7.6 to 8.0 with a high mineralization. Equally important is that the water be highly oxygenated. These fish easily stress when ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels become unsafe. Therefore, regular water changes are important in maintaining water quality. Now let's discuss the nutritional requirements of crocodons. In general, crocodons are omnivore, However, I do feed a mix of omnivore and a carnivore diet. I 
I feed my adult fish two to three times daily with various foods. First off, I feed a high quality omnivore spirulina flake. I also feed freeze-dried daphnia, freeze-dried blood worms, various frozen foods such as brine shrimp, blood worms, and daphnia, and I also feed live baby brine shrimp. I also introduce various live food cultures such as Grindel, White, and Microworms. Now let's discuss the behavior characteristics of Crocodon audax and Lateralis and their breeding behaviors. I like to compare the behaviors of Crocodons to dwarf South American cichlids. The males can be a little territorial, and I find that most of these fish do well in tanks that have a lot of rock work in areas that they can hide in seclusion when they need to take a break from the rest of the fish. To set up small breeding colonies of these fish, I take two males to every three to four females in a 30 gallon aquarium. When the females are almost ready to drop her fry, her stomach will become box-like. It's at that time I place the females in a 10-gallon aquarium full of guppy grass so that she can drop her fry. Once the babies are born, I remove the female from the aquarium. Sometimes the babies can be small and I had placed them into a breeder box for a week or two, feeding them three times daily with baby brine to grow them out a little larger before releasing them into the grow out tank. Generally at this time, I feed the babies three to five times daily with live baby brine, shrimp, and crushed flake. Water changes are done twice a week to ensure optimum water quality. Well everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video explaining the husbandry and my breeding program of Crocodons. Should you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. If you would like to check on availability of Crocodons by my website, log in to www.edsaquaticexotics.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.